without getting too technical, I'm going to show you how to see if your how to check and see if your portable generator is a bonded neutral or float neutral. This is my Brakeman Stratton Storm Responder. This thing's worked great all the years we've owned it. It powers uh, the house. First, we used a generator interlock. Worked great. Now we use a Reliance uh, six circuit transfer switch. Even simpler to use. Works great also. Uh, turn on your meter, put it to ohms. <clears throat> that one with the little slit, that's your neutral. Stick that in there. Take the other probe and touch the uh, the metal frames. Not on the paint, find like bare metal. Some shipping damage from years ago. So if we, we hear, my, my uh, ohm has the audible tone. So if you hear the beep, then you know it's a uh, bonded neutral. It's bonded to the frame. So there you go. If you got a storm responder, you got a bonded neutral. You go down here also. Now again, because I don't have uh, GFI outlets, uh, it, it does. It, my generator works good. It doesn't. There's nothing for it to trip out here. So it, it works. Uh, it works great. If you have uh, protected outlets on the generator, and with a bonded neutral, it may start tripping on breakers. But uh, I, I'm trying not to get too technical. But there's a way to convert them to float neutral. Um, I'm not going to touch that one. All right. All right. I'm trying to get anyone to burn their house down. But uh. I, that's the long and short how to check to see if you have a bonded neutral or float neutral.